Hello my friends and welcome back to the Scott Reed Project and today we are going to be doing a super quick and easy recipe. We are going to be making some stunning lamb and mint burgers. To my mind if you get a lamb burger that's well made it totally blows a beef burger out the water. So in front of me you will see the ingredients. We're going to keep it simple, we're going to keep it natural. What we have is a pound and a half of minced lamb. You can see I have got one medium red onion chopped, two cloves of garlic, I have got some beautiful fresh mint and it really needs to be fresh herbs for this uh, you know to give it that lovely fresh taste and some fresh parsley and I'm going to use a bit of cumin and that is what we're going to be doing for the burgers but you can also see I've got some Greek yogurt, some lemon, some cucumber, half a cucumber, which I have uh, grated on a grater, put in a tea towel and drain the water out. And we are going to be making a lovely minty cucumber raita to sit on top of our burger. Right then, let's do this. This does not take very long. So it couldn't be easier then. Like I said, a pound and a half of minced lamb. You may remember I butchered a whole lamb and I've used one of the half shoulders, which I just put through the mincer. As you can see, it's quite lean into that. Like I said, one medium red onion, which we've just diced, but again, you know, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. If some are a bit bigger than others, it ain't a problem, baby. So into that then, two crushed cloves of garlic, and then it's onto the herbs. Don't be too fussy here. We need a good handful of chopped mint, which I will just take off and just rip through quickly. So one handful of fresh mint, which smells just divine. And the same with some flat leaf parsley. Just straight through. And I've saved a few mint leaves to go in that lovely cooling cucumber writer. So there's our parsley can go in. Right, I'll just tidy my board up and we'll get on with phase two. So into my mix, I am going to put one of lamb's favorite spices, a teaspoon of ground cumin, then just some nice cracked black pepper and I'll get some sea salt in there. And that is basically our burger mix done just get your hands in and you can see the color what I like about this you'll see all the little bits of herbs and the onion and that oh, without even mixing too much smells fantastic so just knead it then until you've incorporated all the ingredients so there's our basic mix what we need to do then, just shape it in half and we go into three, we get six decent portions out of this and it's a case of just getting them in your hands, moulding them into patties I mean, some people say, throw it against your hand and that starts to combine it all. But that is what you're looking for. Right, I'll get these other five out of the way. Let's give it a bit of slappy baby. Oh, oh, oh. And just shape. How's that looking? Hey, eh? Mint cam. 
so so simple to make so we got six burgers out of that they should be about quarter pounder each what I'm gonna do because we've been manipulating these beauties put them on a plate get them to chill for half an hour and in the meantime we'll make that lovely sauce beautiful aren't they okay then on to that writer or writer you say tomato I say tomato let's call the old thing off anyway I've got a ghastly twee bowl there it's rock and roll baby you know it is some Greek yogurt I am just gonna put two tablespoons just like that there was my half of cucumber which I grated put in a tea cloth and squeezed all the water out so that can go in obviously you can check this and add and take away what you want then I've got my mint so get some fresh mint leaves in there just give it an old doobry do dooby dooby do be dooby do do dooby dooby do right in we go with that I've also got a little bit of fresh coriander that I had lurking in my fridge so we'll rock some of that in not too fussy you know what I mean this ain't rocket science this is real cooking for real people right might add a bit more yogurt but I want it quite thick so what I would do is get a lemon lemon see through in the sunlight get the juice of half a lemon in there then I'm looking for this to be herby fresh punchy I want the flavors to pop oh yeah <laughs> and then just season it with a bit of pepper and a tiny bit of sea salt give it a good mix then that will go into the fridge let's try that oh that's nice mm. I'm gonna add a little bit more mint to that because I can so I'm just chopping that other little bit of mint in I just want to get a bit more flavor and it helps if you get it in the bowl and not on the board and that once it gets to know each other I shall put it in the fridge with the burgers and then we will cook one off oh yeah so these beauties have been chilling in the fridge what I need to do is just brush each side with some oil I'm using sunflower oil I've got my pan over here just going to put it in nice and hot I'll do another one then we'll cook these I imagine four to five minutes a size jobs are good in just want to show you where we're up to look at those beauties not long to wait now it's beautiful the moment of truth some of you may or may not remember that lovely game from your childhood build a beetle this is my version called build a burger now don't ever say I discriminate against the vegetarians on the SRP you know we're keeping it real a little bit of lettuce Look at that man I wouldn't get a job at McDonald's would I get on there stay then one of these superb minty lamb burgers just have a look at that let's get that on there hey how's that looking already mm -mm 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 -mm. then we need a bit of that sauce which I can't pronounce so we'll just call it a cooling 
mint and cucumber sauce. And there we have, let's take that off there. Now the reason I rip these rolls apart, believe it or not, it changes the texture. If you cut it with a knife, you get a clean surface, but if you rip it, more surface area, more texture, more mouthfeel. Listen to that. Right, let's cap this bad boy, squash it down, and I can't wait. I cannot wait. Now the beauty with this being lamb is you can cook it a little bit medium rare, but there is, just look at that. God, yeah. Let's do it. My dear, dear friends. That is a winner, baby. Just look at the moisture still in that burger. And made to perfection. Natural ingredients. We haven't mucked about with it. We haven't added anything, as you've seen. Just those herbs, a bit of spice, seasoning, pure lamb. No binding agent, no rubbish. This is the real deal, baby. I'm gonna have another bit. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't need to tell you how good that is. I will not insult your intelligence. That is a seriously, seriously, seriously top, top burger. And give it a go. And what I like, like I said, you can see the colours, the herbs, the onions in it. Stop jiving, Scott. Well, I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Scott Reed Project. Like I said, you get a good burger, a lamb burger made well. Blows the beef one out of the water. And this is what we've done. So give it a go. And if you've liked what you've seen here today on the Scott Reed Project, as per usual, you know the drill. Click subscribe down there somewhere. Also... Like it, share it with your friends on your forums, social media, Facebook, Scott Ree or The Scott Ree Project, and on Twitter, at The Scott Ree Project. But until next time, I'm only having this bit and that's it. Trust me. All the best. Take care. Rock on, baby. Mmm. Magnifique.